We love our dogs and they do bring us lots and lots of joy. But you know, risotto also does bring us lots of joy, right? Isn't risotto just the best? It is. And if, like many, you simply can't get enough, this next recipe will keep your obsession alive. Using Nolex roasted tomato risotto recipe we made earlier on uh, the show, uh, you know, <sighs> Jamie is going to be showing us, and I trust her so, so much, going to show us how to transform a delicious bowl of risotto into a comforting snack. Actually, this is going to be a two-in-one because you're going to be helping me do this. Because like you were s saying earlier okay. on, you and Chef Clem were doing like date night. Yes. It's perfect for Valentine's Day as well. Okay, so you great. use the leftover food, uh -huh. the leftover risotto, and then uh -huh. you're going to make your uh, arancini balls with it. So I this is the that. risotto from early on. That sounds very, very fancy. Arancini balls. Arancini. You have arancini. to say it like... And I looked at the picture earlier on, uh, uh -huh. the, uh, on the graphics that we've got and what the final product looks like, and I thought, why are we making maguena in February? This is a but bougie. This is a bougie. bougie okay, so how to start is we're going to start with the risotto that mm -hmm. we used early on and we're going to roll it into balls. So you're going to put it in your hands. This is where you're going to get like really into it. All right. You can take your cheese mm -hmm. and then you are just going to close it up. So you can either take some more. Ooh, I can already tell what's going to be happening there. I can what is tell what? the message tell that's going to happen. So tell us. I'm telling you, because obviously they're going to be fried, right? <laughs> the cheese melting out into your risotto so nicely. It's the richest thing and it's the most exciting thing. Yeah. I love that, okay? And you're gonna get your hands very dirty and you're gonna make everything mm. else very dirty. And so then, there you have it. You obviously want it to be nice and cool and chilled yes. out before you go into the uh -huh. next step, which is called... Pan... Panaying. Panaying. We're going to be now. We're going to panaying yeah. something. So we're gonna take Stick the risotto Stick around balls. me, Jamie. I'll teach you these technicalities when Grr. it comes to cooking. Now we're panaying them. Okay? We are panaying them. So we're gonna put, put it into the flour. Mm. And then into the egg. Nice. And I can tell that you. Oopsie, ooh, oopsie, ooh, 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 ooh. Well, I was just like about this. to say, I can tell <laughs> that you've done this lots of times before. Take it back. <laughs> take it back, take it back. Okay, it's falling apart, but usually because you want to no, keep it. But that's because you would have obviously made the balls, you know, a bit earlier on and you would yeah. let them, you know, dry up a little bit before you do that. So that's sure. fine. Just the magic of TV, uh, that's what it would look like once your balls are done and then you would, you know, be quite solid. Yeah, and so again, just try to do it twice because you really just want to keep all that flavors together. Okay, so nice. put it in the the self-raising flour, put it in the egg and put it in the breadcrumbs and then okay. do it twice so and put, then yeah. you're going to pop it in to your hot oil like that. And then listen to the sizzle. Listen sizzle. to the sizzle. Uh, while that's happening, I've got some mayo and some sriracha going in there. Can you imagine mm. what this sauce is going to be like, this combination? It's going to sauce and with the tongue up your pee pee. What is the, the line? <laughs> <laughs> that line. That one. Uh, and so now this is going, going, going. So mayo and sriracha coming together nicely. And so these, the nice thing about them is that you can really make lots, yeah? Because risotto, you can make big quantities, like heavy load, uh, lo loaded quantities. And it can really last a really, really long time. You can put this in the fridge after you're done with making them and they will last a long time. They'll be delivering all of the magic and all of the flavor for a long time to come. Uh, that's what they look like when they're done. They're done. Look at those balls, the homemade roasted tomato arancini. And uh, the recipe is available on expressoshow.com with all of the ingredients and a step-by-step -step guide of how to bring it all together. I'm gonna taste quickly. Please, please uh, do. And I'll tell this you is, what I think. This is what I'm cooking for uh, for Valentine's Day, so you this are the it. taster. Okay, cool. So you're hoping to win my heart? Yes. Okay, cool. Let's go. Is it a win? Mm. Are you falling in love with me? Yes. Ah. Uh, uh, guys, it's the first time you're hugging. I feel like something's going to happen. Are you okay? Are you Nothing's dying? Is everything okay? <laughs> it's good? Give it a thumbs up. There we go. Mm. Expressoshow.com is where you can get your hands on this recipe for arancini. Oh.